Alrighty, alrighty. Hello, 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 hello. I am so happy for today's transformational tip Tuesday. Um, give me a second if you're catching this on replay. Um, just give me a second to get all of these things set up properly. I feel like it's set up properly, but I'm all, all, all good. Today I'm going to be talking about self worth. So if you're catching this on replay. Um, let me know in the comments below that you're catching it on a replay. Um, but yeah, we're talking all things self-worth. And this is not for people that are looking for external validation for their lives. This is not for people that have always been told that they're great the way they are. Granted, I had a very, very loving mother that always, you know, spoke life into me. Um, but I've also had other people in my life too that, that didn't. But I'm, I'm not speaking to the people that necessarily grew up in the ideal conditions. Um, I'm speaking to people that actually battle with their self-worth and they're tired of looking for um, quick fixes. Uh, are, I mean, they would love a quick fix and they would like to get through this sooner, but they would like to have more self-confidence. They would like to have all those things. Okay, if, if, that, if that stuff sounds like you, um, all, all the real stuff, no fluff, no bullshit, then you came to the right place. I'm here. Okay, so um, I want to first start with, now if you have something specific that you want to ask me about um, at a later date or anything like that, I'm going to put my link below so you can um, schedule a complimentary strategy session with me for 20 minutes. It's, con it's completely free. So if that's something that you're interested in, that link will be below. But we're talking about self-worth and the tips that you can use right now that are going to be a little generalized. We're going to first have to start looking at the way that you speak to yourself, the things that you're starting to the things that you say to yourself and how you're showing up when nobody's watching, who you are when nobody's around. Um, and the things that you say in your head that nobody hears. Like, so we're, we're going to focus on the self talk. So, the best way to start getting better with your self-worth is to start speaking to yourself better. Um, there may be ways that you want to improve in your life and you're not quite sure how to. Well, you ain't going to help yourself if you're telling yourself negative things because um, you got to take you with you. So no matter where you're going in life, you are mentally are going to be the same unless you challenge yourself to grow. So you've got to start challenging yourself to think differently about yourself. Um, so if you, for instance, if you say I'm stupid, okay, let's, let's stop saying you're stupid. We're going to stop saying that. We're going to start saying instead is, well, I have something else to learn. We're going to shift from a judging mindset to a learner's mindset when it comes to being extra critical to ourselves. Um, in our lives, we're, we're going to just stop doing that. If you want to build your self worth. Now, if you don't, if you want to stay the same, if you want to stay stagnant, that's fine. This isn't for you. But if those of you that are watching that actually do want to improve, let's re we're switching from a learner, from a judger's mindset to a learner's mindset. Um, so that's one way to kind of help yourself. Now, second is affirmations. When you start speaking to yourself, the things that you want to see, and it might sound really cliche. It might be like, okay, well, like, does that really work? Okay, the people that it actually works for, that it talk, that, that talk about it, it works for them. Like for me, for instance, for me, it works for me. One of the affirmations that I would say uh, for a while was, you know, I attract wealth. And I would say it, and I, I but I, but you had to like believe it too. And if you're if you're wanting to have a better self worth. You've got to also put off a certain type of energy as well. And I'm not like getting like super woo woo on you, but what I'm saying is you have to embody what you want to attract. Like positivity attracts more positivity. Negativity attracts more negativity. Um, we are all going in a specific direction in life. That direction, that course that we take is made by the choices that we make on a consistent basis. You know, we have 60 days. 60,000 to 80,000 thoughts a day for the average thinking person that, that thinks a lot. Most of those thoughts tend to be the same. So if your self dialogue is a negative self thought pattern and you're constantly judging yourself and the people around you, 
then you're going to continuously go down the track of, of not feeling right about yourself. Another thing that you can do is start complimenting other people. If you start complimenting other people and you start seeing the good in other people, you start to see the good in yourself as well. And instead of focusing on, oh, well, her, 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 her stomach's big or whatever. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, cause I don't be thinking that bad about other people. Like I really don't. I try to look at the things that I like, focus on the things that I like in people. So I don't focus on the bad, but when you focus on the bad, your, your brain, your subconscious mind does not differ between negatives. So if you say, or, or like who it is, you know, if you're saying something about like, she is so-and-so and so-and-so, it's thinking that about you and you're subconsciously thinking that too. So you, and you've got, you really, really have to notice how you speak about yourself. Okay. So we're talking about speaking about, about ourselves. We're talking about saying nice things about other people. Um, and also like, if there's something that you know, you want to work on, you know, you want to fix, you know, like, you know what, this is not, you know, I don't feel good when I do this activity. Like I might felt feel good in the moment, but when, after I get done doing it, I'm just like, Oh, I really, I really like that. You've got to make the conscious decision not to do the things that are not serving you anymore. And when you start to do those things and you start trusting yourself more, your confidence, your self-worth, all of those things increase over time. And I'm, I'm talking with my hands a lot. <laughs> I do that all the time. And somebody pointed that out to me. I was like, okay, I'm going to actively work on not doing that. Well, that's one of the things. It's like, you know, if you're, on, if you're constantly becoming a better person and constantly striving to do those things, you've got to to not speak so negatively to yourself about those doing those things. Like I said, we're going to switch from a judger's mindset to a learner's mindset. Um, now, if we are um, saying unworthy things about ourselves, so we, we got through the talking part, right? We got through how we talk to other people. Now, our actions. Are our actions aligning with the lives that we want to have, with what we think that we're deserving of? And this is where your self-awareness really, really, really kicks in. Is your day-to-day -day activity serving you and your purpose? And your purpose might, might not be, you know, it might just be to, to survive. It might just be to, you know, provide a nice life for yourself and your family. That might be your purpose. Is what you're doing aligning with that? You... <sighs> In order to really build yourself worth, you got it. You got to do some work. You got to do some internal work. Um, some things that are not necessarily comfortable. You've got to start facing the things that you've been avoiding. You've got to start looking at the shame and the guilt that you harbor and the things that you don't tell other people about. You have to start looking at those things. Start looking and really evaluating how those things are affecting you in your life. And if it's serving you to hold on to those types of activities, those thinking patterns, is it serving you to guilt trip yourself from mistakes that you've made in the past? Where is your focus at? Are you, are you being in the present moment? This will all help you when it comes to your self-worth because if you're worthy of better, what are you looking back there for? If you're worthy of having um, the life that you, you dream of, why are you looking back from at all of your mistakes and beating yourself up about it? So if you, if you're watching this on replay too, you know, definitely give me a comment or if you're watching this live, give me a comment. If there's anything specific that you would like some tips on when it comes to your self worth, because I would love to answer those right now. Um, but in, in, in this, Time, you also have to start noticing how the people around you speak. How are the people around you talking about themselves and other people? You've got to remove the negative people out of your life. You've got to um, be around people that believe in themselves, that, that have the self-worth, that are not always on the struggle bus. And now, hear me out. I understand that um, 
there's struggle in life. I really, I get it. I really do. Um, but we're, it's only temporary. And if we're going to continue to stay in the struggle and continue to feel low about ourselves being in this struggle, then where does that leave room for us to talk ourselves up and to, to speak, speak power into our situations? Where does that leave room for that? Like I said, this is really about how you speak to yourself. And that will change your self-worth so much. How you, the affirmations that you say, death and life comes through the tongue. And I'm telling you, this is no joke. It's very serious. Start seeing yourself. And you know what? Vision boards help too. Start seeing the things that you want to have because our reticulator activating system in our brains, we, we go towards the things that we, we see. Just like positive stuff and negative stuff. If we focus on the positive, we get positive. If we focus on the negative, we get negative. If you focus on your worth and what you're worthy of, you start to feel more of this worth. And then you start, over time, you start to see the validation and the confirmation of these things. It's a beautiful thing to see. It's an absolutely beautiful thing to see. So, like I said, I didn't want to keep this too long. Definitely leave me some comments in this, uh, comments below if you watch this on replay. And um, yeah, I hope that this gave you some food for thought. Speak to yourself positively. Surround yourself with the right people. Stop, ha adopt a learner's mindset versus a judger's mindset. And as always, go out and be a badass.